Here I am in Austin, Texas at the famous Alamo Draft House for fan I'm here for Fantastic Fest, guys. It's a festival of strange movies and uh, eclectic choicery and also strange movies. <coughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. Hey, yeah, that's me, man. I'm sick. I'm sorry. You might want to use some hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll go wash my hands. There you go. That'll be good. But, but, uh, uh, big fan. Love, Thanks, love man. you on SourceFed. Uh, <laughs> what's up, guys? I'm making oh. a vlog right now, and oh. you're going to be in it. Oh, awesome. What's up, Nation? What is your name? Uh, my name's Clint. Clint? Yeah, and so uh, I just wanted to see if I could take, like, uh, just a little bit of your time. Yeah, sure. So you guys, like, entertained me so Aww. much over the years. Thank you. I've got, you're kind of a Ghostbusters fan. Yeah, I'm a right? huge Ghostbusters okay. fan. Okay, okay. So, my daughter is three. Yeah. She was two last year when I showed her Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 for the first time. What did she think? She loved it. I, yes. I have this video I want to show you of her reacting to Ghostbusters okay, 2. Okay, show me. Because she got really, like, involved in the... the wow, really? She was, like, super yeah, into it? She was super into it. No, the, she was really concerned for Oscar. <laughs> and so she was like, she was freaking she fell out. For the baby. Oh, my God. She was she freaking fell. out for Oscar. <laughs> Can we get footage of it? Or maybe you well, can send me the clip. It doesn't... Well, the thing is, I don't put her online because... Oh, because I, you don't, I don't want to exploit her. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. great! Look at... Listen to this guy. This I, guy doesn't want to exploit look, his there, children. There are, there are ways to go through and do that, and I think Phil's done a great job yes. with Trey and everything. Yes. And yes. actually, my son's like two weeks difference from Trey. Yeah. Like, oh, they're, no they're shit! They're about the same age, yeah. Shit! But, um... I just, for me personally, I want them to be able to make their own digital footprint. And yeah. I don't want to have to wow. do it myself. Wow, smart whereas, man. Whereas, like, I know that you guys have talked about that on Table Talk yes, before. Yes, we have. Yes, we and have. And honestly, like, I just, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the same mindset. I want them to be able to make their own path. Just kind of, yeah, and let them decide. You know, some people kind of force their children into it. Yeah. And then they're YouTube stars. Right. And they don't want to be. Or exactly. maybe they didn't want it and they like it now. Or, but they or it's, like, embarrassed them. And they yeah. didn't, and it's, like, the type of things that they, they didn't, had no control over what they wanted to release. You guys yeah. Yeah. opportunity and choice exactly. to choose that they don't necessarily Yeah, because it's think, like baby's first tooth it's like I don't want my first tooth on there yeah 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 that's a baby's in the bag hanging out like yeah. you know with his kids here's my sister. new children look and, at my exactly, new children exactly and it's like it's another thing that yeah. can get creepy because they're weird people on the, the internet. The internet's gross. Yes, yeah. it is yeah. disgusting. It's a gross place. Absolutely. So then I'm going to enjoy this man's video without yes. exploiting his children and I'm going to stop right now. Thank you. So this man showed me his precious daughter reacting to Ghostbusters 2. It was pretty great. It was great. That's adorable. I mean, that's the thing that, that's the whole reason you want to have kids. Is it's because the... you want to be able to experience and like that innocence of them when they're sure. that young watching it for the first time like I'm you still did, gonna you know? get my vasectomy like <laughs> right now <laughs> but I see I do see the benefit of yeah. like enjoying something new with like something that you love and sharing it with another gentleman. yeah yeah all right get out of here with your drama <laughs> and your logic all right it was very nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, if you sir. see me again say hi I will I will take care dude well that was a nice gentleman telling me all about fantastic fest and such but uh, now we have a noisy thing over there but I just wanted to say I'm enjoying Austin seen some great friends bumped into Meg Turney which was great Gavin's always great Bernie's great <coughs> I'm about to see Animal Lisa at Anom Anomalisa which is a Michelle or uh, a um, Charlie Kaufman thing that's like animated and puppets I'm losing my voice so I'm gonna stop but before I go, I've got to tell you guys about Beer and Stuff, which is the channel that I am also working on with Anheuser-Busch, the guys that make the Budweiser's. There's all sorts of new videos that always go up. It's me, Elliot Morgan, JD Witherspoon, and a special guest sometimes, like Matthew Santoro, Peter Gilroy was in one, a whole bunch of fun people. <sighs> Check that out, link here, link in the descriptie. Fun times. I'm gonna get back over there because Elijah Wood's over there and I gotta talk to him, okay? Just kidding, that's not how this works. Although I heard Elijah Wood's very approachable and nice gentleman. I gotta get in there and watch some movies, goddammit. I'm obsessed with Fantastic Fest.